Global Cast MD, along with Cincinnati Children's Hospital, sharing knowledge to improve child health around the globe. Welcome to our educational videos about pancreatic pathologies by the Pancreas Care Center at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Today, we are talking about acute pancreatitis, and for that, we have three experts from the Pancreas Care Center. Dr. Maisem Abu Alaita, the director of the Pancreas Care Center, Dr. Andrew Trout, professor of radiology and director of clinical research for radiology, and Dr. Juan Gurria, the surgical director of the Pancreas Care Center and surgical critical care. So, let's start from the beginning. What is acute pancreatitis? It is an insult to the pancreas that leads to the presence of acute inflammatory cells, edema, and necrosis that in some cases may result in organ damage or fibrosis. The majority of the cases are self-limited and case of acute pancreatitis, but at about 30% you could have recurrence. So how does acute pancreatitis occur? An insult takes effect leads to zymogen activation, generation of inflammatory mediators, then further inflammation and ischemia, necrosis, and apoptosis in the gland that in a subset could lead to SIRS and multi-organ failure. Symptoms that we commonly see in acute pancreatitis are intense upper abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, and loss of appetite, as well as back pain, a swollen or tender abdomen, fever, and tachycardia. Now that we know what it is, let's talk about diagnosis. Acute pancreatitis by definition is when the patient has two out of the three criteria, pain that is classic epigastric in origin, lipase or amylase three times the upper limit of normal, and then imaging findings. And ultrasound still remains the first line test of choice in the context of acute pancreatitis that largely reflects its availability and lack of ionizing radiation. However, we know that ultrasound is only moderately sensitive. And so if you are suspecting acute pancreatitis, you're not able to make a diagnosis with ultrasound. And particularly if you're looking for complications, that's really where we're using CT. It's when we need to confirm a diagnosis or we're, when we're concerned about complications, that's when you can leverage CT or MRI. What I would like to say is that we get calls often. So the kid has acute pancreatitis, you want an MRCP. That's really not the first imaging modality that I want to think about. Great. So now that we can identify a patient with acute pancreatitis, let's talk about treatment. Remember that pancreatitis is a state of uh, hypoxia. You need to reestablish the intravascular flow to the pancreas to prevent hypoxia, necrosis, atrophic pancreas insufficiency. So the early fluid resuscitation was associated with reduced incidence of SIRS and organ failure at 72 hours. How much fluids? So we should start with 10 to 20 cc's per kilo and reassess according to the patient's age and weight. It's always better. You cannot flow these lungs too much because the outcomes are worse. It's been shown that LR decreases the incidence of uh, the inflammatory response and C-reactive protein at, at 24 hours compared to NS. Now, there's no reason to give antibiotics for pancreatitis, even in the face of world of necrosis or necrotizing pancreatitis. Feed the pancreas as soon as the patient is able to tolerate PO. Just give enteral nutrition significantly better compared to TPN or MPO. This is okay to tolerate some, some, some vomiting. Perfect. Let's summarize what we've seen today. Acute pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas that occurs by activation of the enzymes inside the gland. This causes acute pain in the epigastric region and can lead to nausea, vomiting, fever, and tachycardia. Ultrasound is the first line of imaging modality, but we should use CT for complications or if we have diagnostic doubts. For the treatment, we have to replace fluid and from the work that we've seen, it's better not to use LR. Also, you should start feeding as soon as possible. And know that antibiotics are not needed unless there's evidence of infection. So that was all for today. I hope you enjoy it and join us in the next videos about pancreatic pathologies by the Tanquist Care Center. Global Cast MD along with Cincinnati Children's Hospital, sharing knowledge to improve child health around the globe.